Hi guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, different type of video, I guess. This is uh, an unboxing of one of the Viper hoods that you can find on Amazon, um, which is kind of like a half ghillie suit, um, as you can see here. I've been collecting my burlap and dyeing it as I go. So that's a that's a greenish colour. It was supposed to be a black, but I didn't leave it in long enough and it came out green. So there's a green. Coffee brown. And then we've got a slightly lighter brown. That's only just been dipped in. Standard colour burlap, which comes on its own. This is a, I believe this is a single ply, and the rest of these are triple ply. Uh, basically, just means how many twists. Um, as you can see in the video there, there's not much to that one there. That's, that's a lot thinner. Um, so that one there, and then we also went with a a proper green, and I left this in. Um, so you'll notice only ever so slightly. There is a slight difference in the greens there between the two. So we have the difference colours there. Um, to dye them, I've used these Dylon. Uh, work really, really well. And uh, I did use this Espresso Brown for this colour here. Um, then this, it's called Olive Green. That was this one. This, believe it or not, was black. I did say just a minute ago that this is black, but I left it in for only about three or four minutes and it turned it green. Uh, and then Coffee Brown, I literally just dip dyed this, so it really just went in for a few seconds. Swished it round and, and pulled it back out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these are all right. This this is a black as well. I've used this to dye clothes and all sorts as well in the past. Um, I might have to use these when it comes to... Uh, this particular package because this only cost me £30 which is about $45 in America um, and it's a little project I've been um, doing for the, the next Milsim so I wanted to get something um, that looked quite professional so this is as good as I could get for the price really um, anyway I am actually just going to pause this video I'm just going to get some scissors because I actually forgot to pick up some scissors because uh, this is tape here and I don't think I can get into it with one hand give me two seconds and I'll be back okay guys we're back and I've got a pair of scissors we're going to cut this here and cut this here I've not looked in this yet I promise I literally was peeling it open I thought Do you know what this would make a very good video as there's not many people I don't think there's anyone that's unboxed a ghillie suit type thing before this isn't going to be just a single video on this um, there's going to be multiple videos um, but I'm pretty much going to get on this straight away what is this here this is a seal Little seal. That's that's good. I guess this comes all the way from China. I didn't realise it came from China. Um, let's get this out. One-handed. Okay, some buckles. That looks like the hood. It is. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Move them scissors. Move the die. Let's move these out of the way too. Okay, what we got? Looks quite big, which is good. Okay. So, let's just look at it this side. This isn't the most interesting side, really. Um, so, material. Looks very similar to uh, my, my my trouser material actually. Um, quite thin. People said online that this looked uh, like cream on the inside, but it's not cream. It's uh, definitely a normal 
tannish color. I'd say it's a bit lighter than a normal tan. Let's have a look on the outside here. Okay, I mean here, stitching seems okay. I mean it's, it's all stitched together, so it looks. I wouldn't say I'm disappointed with um, with the construction. So, what I liked about this Viper hood as well is it come with these buckles. Um, as you can see here, you can pop these out, and I'm guessing what you can do is you could make a, a veil and stitch these here onto the veil. This will obviously go on your arm and on your arm there, and then this will dribble down um, from the back of your neck. Um, and on here some bungee so that can be cinched down onto your arm and looks like it can be oh yeah definitely there so when you flip that over this side here this will be tight as well on the inside of your arm well inside and outside of your arm but it will basically pull this over your arm depending on how, how big your arms are um, yeah I mean what 30 pounds and that's free shipping not too bad looks like there is a another piece here just there that's interesting so so you could cinch this down I'm gonna wear this with a, a cap I would have thought so that would be interesting as well to see what that looks like um, I'll uh, get a few pictures and I will put them into this video and I will also put this burlap together and put it in hopefully I'll have enough burlap I mean there's a lot there um, so hopefully we'll be able to cinch it all down get it looking quite cool uh, you never know I might be able to take it to this this game day uh, this weekend anyway guys um, I'll hand it off to myself again in the next part of this video so stay tuned bye bye guys um, so I've just put just my top half of my gear on um, and my cap. Um, it's really warm uh, today, so um, maybe you can see now. So I haven't put anything on it yet. So um, I mean, I think it looks pretty, pretty decent if I'm honest. Ugh. Um, to see um, it's okay uh, it's a bit warm but I don't know if it's just because the the flats warm um, what I did notice um, first of all is that if you see here there's a lot of these hanging around which is good if you want to get it sized up properly but uh, soon as uh, as soon as you have done that it does tend to get in the way a little so I'll probably have to modify that a bit um, as far as the back goes excuse my trousers because I haven't put them on but as far as the back goes that's the back and you can see these uh, little toggles here on the back these things here what I would say is probably taking those off until you've, um, you know, till you've, till you've made the back part because you do tend to make a bit of a racket. Maybe it will quieten down when you've got a burlap on the back, but that's my personal opinion. I would say is definitely do that. It's quite warm. I think that's the biggest thing I can say at the moment. It's only going to get hotter when it comes to um, putting it down here and on your head. So, I mean, I am indoors, so that's something that might be hindering it a little bit, but it's definitely quite quite warm in it. So I'll, um, I'll attach the burlap anyway, and uh, we'll go from there, see how it goes. Hi guys, uh, so we're back again. Uh, this is now a couple of days later, uh, and I've put the burlap onto the... Uh, the ghillie and I've put about 450 meters of burlap on it took me six hours to do 
didn't quite finish it, so I did take it to a game uh, this weekend. Uh, if any of you guys follow me on social media, uh, you'll you'll see the um, the pictures of my gilly when it was half done. Uh, I'll show you in a moment how, it, how, it, how the coverage. I did notice an improvement um, in stealth. I guess people didn't notice you as much, um, but it was, it was only ever so slightly, I guess. But um, anyway, I'll show, I'll show you what it's what it looks like. Um, it might look a little bit raggedy because, uh, I mean, in a good, in a good way, I guess, uh, because when uh, when we played this weekend, it got absolutely soaking wet, so we ended up um, <laughs> basically wet through. So my ghillie suit got absolutely soaked, but. I think that sort of uh, um, made it better, I guess, it weathered it a little. Um, one thing to note about the ghillie suit, since since I've had it so far, it folds up into itself. This is actually without it cinched down, because I've only just put it together to show you guys. But it, this is actually one of the sleeves. Um, when you actually do take it out of its, out of its sleeve, it... Uh, just folds out into itself which is great definitely for transport because you don't have to have that extra extra bag or you know anything like that so I'll put it on for you guys now just so you can see it it's going to probably be a bit weird with uh, without a, a combat shirt on but um, it's because it's in the wash <laughs> Let me just throw this on. It doesn't take too long to get on. It's just these Velcro patches on here keep catching. Let me just see so you've got this little doodah here. There you go. So that's on. Cable tie, not cable tie, uh, elastic there. And then I normally took it underneath when you've got a shirt on you don't notice it too much uh, this side here as well cinch this down here took that in like that you can adjust these I did show this in the last part of the video you can adjust these here um, just a tad and then it gives you a little bit of a elasticity around your neck when I said it was warm, um, I played in quite humid temperatures and I didn't really notice it. I think being outside is a difference compared to, I mean, it was like nearly 35 degrees for some reason in England the other week. And uh, that's probably why I was struggling with the weather. Um, that's the hood. So there's probably some proper leaves on there. So stand up a minute. So you can see, there's bits missing, still, because it's not done, but I'll put the camera just here. Let's see if that catches it. So, there you go. Obviously when you've got your plate carrier on here, that's a good thing and I run HPA so when you run HPA it's a good thing because your tank and everything's not going to be covered you know and when you're laying down I mean I'll try and do it here when you're laying down you've got your gun like that this does tend to break up your pattern you know I think it looks pretty good um, it still needs work it's still got to have I've ordered, like I said, I've ordered another 200 um, meters of burlap, which isn't a lot really when you start putting it on something like this. It it soon goes, but uh, but yeah, I did notice that the burlap has started to fray, um, but I think it's quite cool actually. I think I think it adds to it in a way. It doesn't look like as if it's meters and meters and meters of different pieces of you know string. And all you do is you just loop it and pull it tight and it's away you go really. So there you go. Uh, each one of the squares, if you saw in the last part, 
each one of the squares I tried to get about four four different ones so you know different colors mix the colors up a bit um, and the, the the thin burlap the one I shown you right at the start that I try to splash that around as much as possible because I don't want too much light but again I don't want too much dark so you can see here the the single ply is the one that that definitely thins the most once the water gets on it um, but really I mean I didn't really notice it right now I'm, I'm a bit warm because of uh, because of being indoors again but uh, no I, I do think it's pretty decent to be fair so if any of you guys are looking for uh, a Viper hood uh, check out the description below this is gonna be really it I think now for the videos um, and I'll do an updated video with all my gear on and everything to show what it looks like but I just thought I'd give you a little update and get this video out so yeah cheers guys have a good one uh, stay safe